Jordan subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan subjective. Jordan subjective perspective. <laughs> Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide your husbands. Because they oh, rape and everybody. Hide your husbands. Because <laughs> they rape and the everybody girls. out here. Husbands? Like no, them. they are not. They are not. What? You know what I'm talking about, right? No, I don't. What? They, well, you said that you said the quote like perfectly. Did I? Yeah. Antoine Dodson. I think. Yeah, yeah. Was it hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, <laughs> oh, boy. and hide your husband because they raping no. everybody out here? I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what he said. I think that's what he said. That was. So we go find you. <laughs> we gon' find. You know, believe it or not, I'm kind of uncultured out here. Well, that was a long time ago. It was like a news. It was a funny news article, and then it they someone made a like a song out of it. Yeah. That was what happened. It was like a news reporting. I don't even remember what city he was based out of. I want to say Chicago, but I feel like that's wrong. I don't know, but he got famous. <laughs> like, that guy got actually really famous. Like, you just said his name. Yeah. You Antoine, know his name. Antoine Donson? Antoine Donson. I, I think it was, like, 2009. He's just, long story short, this guy, like, it's actually a really serious matter. And, like, somebody, <laughs> like, he's, like, talking about a rapist. And he's, like, There's very passionately, like, man, we going to find you. <laughs> <laughs> hide your kids, hide your wife, cause they raping everybody out here. And hide your, I had you, hide your husband, cause they raping everybody out here. It was like an intruder on the loose. Yeah, something like In the neighborhood, like and they were like, "Here's a, here's a local, here's a local resident to tell you like what he thinks." And he's just like, "Ma'am, hide your kids." <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Really and and, and it was like a huge viral video. Funny, you know? Well, so they then they made it into a viral like music video, like she was saying, and and. uh and it just blew up on the internet. Well, I mean, hopefully people take it seriously, though. Well, I was thinking about it, and, like, it probably led to a significant amount more of exposure for that case. So he was probably caught. I mean, for that one case, I don't how know. many cases out there do people go through? I think sometimes people make jokes out of things, and it's like, okay. It's a serious matter. This is a serious it's matter. It's a serious matter. Totally. <sighs> But are they laughing at the actual raping, or are they laughing at the guy and his reaction to right? it? Right. Okay, but that's true. However, you should take anything serious at all times. Is it distracting? It's distracting from the actual matter. But can you joke about things and still take it seriously? <laughs> I'm always joking about things when I shouldn't be joking about them. Well, so. it's also so. different. Has it affected you? It's easier to joke about something and be serious about it if it hasn't affected you. Yeah. Talk talk a little bit more into it. Yeah. <laughs> Just what it like literally. It's it's so Sorry, sensitive. Whenever you whenever you. Like, if you start, like, <clears throat> tilting your head this way and talking, like, projecting your voice in an yeah. opposite direction, it's, like, super sensitive. Sorry, it's, like, it's little nuances on how to, like, figure out how to. <laughs> no, it's okay. I've like this? What do you think about this? That, great. No, you love when, like. Um, great form. Great when, posture. <laughs> great posture. <laughs> you love when, like, when someone's doing a speech on the TV and this is, like, right here, so it looks like they have a clown nose. <laughs> so the whole time they're doing the speech, you, like, you, like, can't focus on what they're saying because it looks like they have a clown nose. It's, like, a red <laughs> microphone as well. <laughs> Especially my angle right now, it, it totally looks like a clown now. <laughs> you guys are something else. <laughs> but no, I'm I'm like kind of intense, not intense, but like I feel like you can laugh about some really fucked up things. And like I have a dark still, humor. I love dark humor. I think dark humor is like probably my favorite humor because there's like there's like the truth in it. It's like you accept how shitty it is, but then you're able to laugh about it still. And ultimately, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it brings like a different kind of awareness to it. And it, it also alleviates some of the tension so you can have like yeah. open dialogue about the actual harder. seriousness of the conversation. It can as long as you have a good icebreaker. You have to understand some people are very sensitive to other people and what they have to say about something that they have been through. So joking about something that you think might be easing the tension can actually add more and actually harm the person that's considered the victim in it and mm -hmm. not know. It's very contextual. It is, totally. It's very contextual. So, like, let's say, for example, if, if you were to go through some terrible trauma in your life, I wouldn't, like, just come out and be like, okay, I'm going to ease the tension. <laughs> ha, 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 this happened to you. Like, I, I wouldn't come out like that. But I, no. I do think it's funny to, like, be able to laugh about, like, pretty significant events. Not when, like, you know, like, objectively. too soon. Like, yeah, not when it's too soon. But also, like, do you guys know who Anthony Jeselnik is? He's a, he's a stand-up <laughs> he comic. Know what he's He's a stand-up comic, and he doesn't believe anything's too soon or anything like that. Yeah. And he's all about, like, he when he said whenever tragedies happen, he immediately tries to find a way to make a joke about it. Like, yeah. he, he tries to be, like, the first one to make a joke about it. And 
hearing him talk about it is really really interesting because it, it makes a lot of sense to me i i'm not gonna do it any justice and he's being not able like to insensitive it's like he's trying to you know i think it's just him starting controversy yeah totally some people like to just start starting controversy. some people just first like to start to stir shit. the pot you yeah. know yeah first one to be the first <laughs> one on the scene to stir the pot Mm-hmm. what do they call it now when you're out there and you get all this media from it viral no <laughs> going viral i mean it's close enough to it but you're getting you're getting all this yeah. attention you, you're starting something and it comes from you first so people feed off of that mm-hmm. they're feeding mm-hmm. off of people watching We're them in that and age starting something and it can also be a positive thing as well as as far as like starting uh, starting a, a controversy like that to get people to start talking about something and it can be a hot seat to sit in i think mm-hmm. what's his name again anthony jeselnik the name his his stand-up is really <laughs> fucked up but oh he's a sta- he's a comedian yeah. yeah oh okay that makes more sense yeah I could see and that. it's it's like if you guys have ever seen daniel tasha's stand-up yeah. by chance oh yeah i think it's more i don't know i don't know tasha's pretty out there as well but i think it's more like not insensitive but like what's the word just savage just absolute savage i like that. but i see what here. you're saying like he he wants to get he he tends to get some sense of energy from like sparking the flame on mm-hmm. that yeah i know i have friends like that i have friends that will just like go out of their way to like even if they don't believe something they'll like they'll be like well i think this just to like rile someone up and it like they like get off on like someone getting like worked up about it like about their view because it com- conflicts with theirs and you're they'll, also, just, they'll just you're be like ha. Someone to think straight yeah and it, it causes someone to think yeah yeah i think it does like Part of like it's, it's a separating your yeah. emotion from your rational thinking. Yeah. Now, are you really feeling that way, or is it just your emotions that are sparking yeah. it? Now, really think about it. Or because your because your thought process is conflicting with someone else's so much that it's like it opens you know? your mind. Yeah, it does. I love that. I was like, I was just saying, I was just saying how even like Jordan asked me something the other day, and I was like, it, that made me think. Like it was just like a simple question. I can't remember. I think it was, yeah, you asked me, like, what kind of child were you? And I was like, that actually kind of made me think. <laughs> what oh, kind I was of child were you? Yeah, yeah, if you were a shy kid. Yeah, yeah shy you're like, kid. were you a shy kid? And I was like, that actually made me think. Well, like, what kind of kid was I, you know? It's were interesting you? to analyze yourself, because I saw myself as pretty shy as well. But I really like what you just said, that the separating your rational thinking from your emotional response. <laughs> I like that's that a lot. Funny. That's so true. That's that's kind of what that. I'm trying to communicate right now. Is like, when I, the, it it alleviates tension in that way because mm-hmm. it's like I don't know. It's not like you're taking what you're saying too seriously, but like it it's still like funny in a way. It's it's a really weird art. It is. It's a, it that's like one of the most difficult things in my opinion to be able to like make a joke out of something super serious. Like <laughs> for example, nine eleven. Like if you can say something funny about nine eleven. You're great. I, I don't agree with that. I okay? don't like that. I'm That's from New York City. No. You know, I, I haven't talked to my grandparents, my aunts, and some of my cousins since that time. You know how many people's lives were lost for that. I can't joke about that personally. I can't find anything funny in it. I've watched all the movie or all the, the videos on why it was a setup, why it was fake, but part of it wasn't real, that there were bombs set up in it. I've watched so much of that. But the fact that it's hurt so many people's lives and families... I couldn't. I couldn't. I, w- I will just separate myself from the conversation. I'm not going to stop anyone from talking about what they want to talk about. You know, you are freedom of speech. You're allowed to say whatever you want to mm-hmm. say. I'm just going to step back from it. I'm not going to judge you for it because that actually hit me personally. Wait, so are you saying if somebody's talking about the conspiracies, does that no, upset I'm you as well? No, I'm all about the conspiracies. I will I'll hear out anything about the conspiracies just because I was. But you're saying making jokes. But making jokes. And, okay. And, you know, there was. That was a hard time for America. I'm more so referencing not like like open conversation like right now. I'm talking like more so like stand up comedy. I don't think yeah. it's funny. I, I didn't know. I was out of stand up. Fair enough. Okay, well, Fair enough. I, can you if you can give me a, an example right now of a joke you would say on it? What no. would you say about it? No, there's no. It, I mean, if you could, no. I, I mean, I'd be fine. That's with a lot of okay. pressure to put no. on somebody else. Well, if you, you think guys, about it, let me know. 
<laughs> I I personally I'm not gonna like say this myself, but I'm saying that I have heard jokes about it that I have found to be absolutely hilarious. You may disagree with me here. I mean, but if it, it, I find things, I can understand someone's point of view on something, and if it's valid, it's valid. If I can find it funny, too, I would. But if it is not funny, then it is not funny, and that just could be towards myself. But that's the, the, it's it's that's what I'm kind of getting at is, like, the, the art between it is, like, it's such a fine line to where it's actually humorous and, like, dark humor in comparison to just insensitive, and you're just being an asshole. And like it's that's the art of it, in my opinion. Well, also, like I find that really has dealt, had to deal with it, then they wouldn't think find it humorous either way. So, but here's a good example. So my, like I can joke about things in my personal life. For example, my cousin murdered my uncle and then lit his body on fire. What? I, I don't know if you knew this about me. <laughs> no, well, this is just a nervous laugh now. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, right. <laughs> You're just trying to just play it off. Why are you, well, why are you laughing? I didn't take this because I'm nervous right now. I don't know how to take She's like, ha, 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 ha. Well, that's not funny. Sorry. But, we are not laughing about But no, I, I just, I personally handle it. Like you said, I, I am able to like detach myself from my re- emotional response. Obviously, we can all agree objectively. That is a really fucked up thing that happened oh, in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know. I just, I think I, I could still joke about it. Like I, at the end of the day, I always find well, it to be like the most fucked up thing to happen yeah, in my life or one of the. I mean, and, were um, you, like, close to them? Like, did you, do you, like, when it happened, were you, like, alive? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was oh, alive. Okay. This I was uh, February sure, but... 6th of 2017. Oh, oh that was just a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Recent. I'm so yeah, sorry. it was about two and a half years ago, roughly. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a... Uh... No, did it affect you? That's the question. Yeah, it fucked with did my head. Did it affect head. you? For, I mean, I went full, like, recluse for, like, a whole semester. Partially because of that, partially because of my own choice as well. Sovereignty over the decision, but, I mean... I don't know. I mean, it, like it, it was like it, it definitely took my brain to some like dark places. But with that being said, some people use I'm humor still able to, to like joke with it. Like right. I don't know. I don't. I'm. I don't fully understand why that is. Maybe but it's I'm, uh, it's it's uh, what you're doing is you're healing yourself the way you feel like you need to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's not like a coping mechanism it though. Totally it's is. like you yes, might not. No, think I don't it think it is. I, I, just I, I, I will say. I will yeah. say it will definitely have a little impact on that side of it for sure. Possibly. Some people no, use, sure. like, okay, for example, Possibly. like, Robin Williams, he would, he's, like, the funny guy, but, like, you know, all along he was, like, depressed, and, but he used humor to cope with his depression, or so they say. Well, so and, like that, and that's like just an like instant. Or any pain. Like, yeah, that's just, like, an right. example of, like, how humor can help with, humor can, <laughs> humor can help with, like, with your depression i mean i did it with larry today he says you know maybe you're depressed i said yeah i'm depressed i know and i'm cool he's like you know you gotta know you're depressed when you say it like that how do you know mm. i was like i understand what mm. i'm going through yeah you know i but i at the same time i'm not gonna let it influence every aspect of my life mm-hmm. you have That's to good. know when to make fun of things for yourself now if i made fun of 9 11 somehow for me that would be for me at my personal relationship you made fun of your cousin and your uncle thing for you and Kanye would do probably the same thing for yourself as what anyone else do for themselves Mm -hmm. if they can make fun of it it's okay for them to do it for their own but it's also like it's not saying is that everyone can start jumping on the bandwagon and being like i'm gonna go ahead and jump on the joke too you did it for you helps you deal with it and that's also sharing your feeling to your friends or whoever else is around you but you're also it's not an invite for anyone else to jump on that Okay, I you like might that. be able to trigger them and and then cause that it's like almost like a relapse in feelings. Yeah, I, I guess it. I guess it. It kind of is like it kind of is a coping thing in a way. In a way, and you're sharing your feelings too. So it, it 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 just um, I don't know. It's more about the response. Like like yeah. objectively, this this terrible thing happened, and like yes, initially my response was like, wow, this is awful. This is like truly traumatic. But I'm not gonna sit around dwelling on the fact that like my uncle was murdered. Like it, it just like it just is what it is. And like my response now is like it's not gonna like negatively impact my day because like it sucks. It happened, but it's it's over. Get over right. it. Right, and you, you know, know, I mean, you don't want your friends to feel bad for you. So then you That's crack it. a joke. Crack a joke. Make them know that yeah, it's not that serious yeah. anymore. It is something that has happened, you know, and they can't and take others away from around it. you. Not feel like they're like walking right. on eggshells exactly. around you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't control my life, so. Yeah. It's just uh, a humor in part it. of reality, like, you know. 
it could also help other people it totally uh, help other people like that know how to through, act you've been through help and, out, uh, act and yeah you. know how to yeah. act around yeah because if you just straight out say that and like you don't like make it lighthearted someone else might be like oh you poor thing like right. meh, 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 and like that's exactly what and you're you like no I, i've i'm i'm, I'm healing i'm yeah. dealing with it and that's like, a that's a great point. Finding Kong. like finding humor in it like helps them see that where you're at with it. I think that's a big part of it. Yeah. I think that's a big part yeah. of it to let people know like I'm emotionally over this. Yes. Like it, I mean like yeah it sucks yeah. but like I'm but found, it's, I it, found it, peace in this and now I can make a joke about it. Well and, said. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. That's that's really like yeah. like I mean you you you've accepted that pain. You've accepted yeah. that trauma. Yeah. And yeah. you're not it's not controlling your life or dictating your decisions or anything because you don't want to cause tension with someone else and then they're like oh i don't know because I, I just dropped a bomb on you guys yeah, like your guys like, response we're both just like <laughs> i was like okay that's nervous <laughs> I, I don't know how to react to that right now yeah that's, uh, and a little in over my head so and then, like sometimes you don't know what to say and then if someone right. just haha makes a joke about it you're like okay, okay. It's, it's okay now okay yeah. okay Okay, now. But I'm not gonna jump on it and say. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna go I'm and make. Add on I'm not gonna to go and make a joke about it. <laughs> like right now. I'm just gonna be like, all right, cool. I I learned um, something new. Yeah. That thank you for opening up to yeah. me the way you did. In my head, this is what I'm saying to myself, you know. And I'm gonna be like, all right, let me just carry on. It's, that's <sighs> that was part of life that's happened previously. Let's just carry like, on with what gonna, we're doing. We're not gonna ignore that it happened, but it's good to know that you are moving on from it, and that's good. Yeah, I think that's way. exactly why I do it. I don't think it's a coping thing. Like I said, it's I to make I, other people feel comfortable. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think it's to make other people feel comfortable. Yeah. I I really So you state a fact of something that happened and then yeah. state a joke on it to say that hey, it's not that big of a deal, now relax. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And let's carry on. Okay, can I make an example of like one time where <laughs> that wasn't the case? Yeah, totally. I was at Okay, have you guys ever been to Blue Room Comedy Club? Yeah. This one guy came up and like he was like, "Okay, you guys want to hear like the like the bad joke or the good joke like the fucked up one or the not one and like he's like so i was like yeah let's hear the fucked up one and he's like it was right after the branson the oh, ducks the duck and he's like oh, and he goes so the so the um the branson wait ducks, wait you, do you have to explain what happened I, i'm not familiar he was with just this. the guy uh, you've never been to blue room so they only well, what's get, branson ducks okay okay you don't know about what the happened ducks? last summer the Last summer, when the duck, the boat, the, the ducks, duck boat, it, it it's a, a tour. Yeah. Why don't you, you, you go ahead and, uh, okay, yeah. I was working that day in Branson, actually. Oh, here, tell you tell about what happened then. Okay, do you, you know, though. Well, I don't know the, the whole story, because was I wasn't there. There was a big storm out there, and they were <laughs> telling all the boats to come back um, on shore, and this duck boat was still out there, which, like Con said, it's a tourist boat to take people out on the lake, and uh, the waves started coming over the boat. They were heading back. And what happened was, um, I've read so many articles, and I've actually watched some of the videos Did you see of the, the video? people in in the hospitals. I mean, kids, families, whole families were gone. It's That's heartbreaking. It, instantly gone, and um, they locked the inside of the boat, and nobody could get out. Nobody was oh. wearing life jackets. Because why did they, wait? Boat. Why did they it's lock the it? The duck boat. So the duck boat is like a bus that turns into a boat that like goes into the water. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, I mean, no one's wearing a life jacket in the beginning of the tour, and, and stuff they have then. it there, but they are not enforcing it. Yeah. They're not enforcing it, and they've actually had previous problems throughout the year before that. It's really fucked up. But anyways, that. But day, I don't yeah, understand the waves why. Were just like that well, day. The why day was it locked though? Why were they locked inside? They oh. okay. I I can I can't tell you most most of the details in that because I wasn't there. I didn't hear about that detail. You know, uh, just it was people could not get out. And everyone, pretty much, most of everyone drowned. It was like a mini Titanic. Yeah, actually, if you put it that way, totally. Oh my god. I mean, so like, like, is that is that bad that I wanted to like not like not like laugh loud, but like no, like but giggle? So, so the guy no, is that bad? Giggle. Well, no, but the guy. Because so like, we all agree no, that's some fucked up. Were laughing. So yeah. the guy goes okay. up. The guy goes up on stage and he's like, "So you okay. guys want to hear like the fucked up joke or you know my other one?" And someone was like, "To the fucked up one," and he's like. So Branson duck boats and I look around, I look around and like 10 people get up and leave. And I was like, oh, too soon. What are we talking about? No, he goes, yeah, he goes too soon. And it was literally like the week before that happened. And I was like, the week after I meant the, the, the week before that, that was when it happened. And I was like, (laughs) people actually, as soon as he's like Branson duck. But what was the joke though? I can't remember because after that, I don't think anyone was listening because everyone's just like, this is 
I don't think you were listening either. I wasn't. Obviously. I was just like, no, no, you no. You probably hear, you can hear a pin drop on the floor. Because I had just watched the video. Oh, it was bad. And on the video, you could just see people, like, jumping into the water trying to help. And I was like, oh, wow. wow. It was like a family of Well, 11. you know me. I'm like, I'm really sensitive. The whole family died. Yeah, I mean. Because so many people go to Branson to go vacation. <laughs> Imagine yourself, like, in that situation, right? You're on this Branson duck boat. You, all this this entire family is locked I inside. I imagine myself in the situation. Like, do you, you, yeah. you always want to imagine yourself as the hero, but you never know until you're the actually thrown in those situations. The fight. You don't know what mm-hmm. you're really going to do. Like, you don't know, like, you're, you're, you you don't know your true character until you're thrown into situations like that. Like if you yeah. you would love to think that you're going to be noble and selfless and think of others first, and you're. But would you want to cause more? Gr- you wouldn't be thinking of other others first because then you wouldn't be thinking about your family. If you would, if something happened to you while you were diving in and trying to be the hero, think about your own family. If something you would cause another casualty, like like sacrificing your own yeah, life, your almost. own life, then you would. Think about what your family had to go through. Well, I mean, look at the school shooters. I mean, the last ones that we've had that have been put out there have been kids who have sacrificed their life for other kid. And you know what their family says? You know, I'm happy. I'm, they're, of course yeah. they're upset. Of course they're sad. They lost their child. But their child was one that saved how many That's others? True. Because nobody else, it didn't say anybody else that jumped into it. Yeah. There's no one else being spoke about, but besides that one person that takes that one initiative, yeah. I can see how hard Would this is. Would you agree that you. there's like you either know? like the hero, like the, the really like is. the person that would jump in, like not even thinking, or the one that would just like be just like either hiding or helping everyone else hide instead of like the other person that's like trying to fight the actual. It's hard yeah. though. It's it's yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's it's hard. hard. It's it's hard are think. you selfish or selfless? Hmm. Especially when it comes to your own life. Is, you it, know? Selfi- is it selfish? Hey, talk a little bit more into the mic. Oh, is it selfish to not... To not do To it? not just jump into the action during something like that. Okay, if I had to put myself in a position based on the way I grew up, I mean, I was in JRTC in high school, you know, I've, I've mm-hmm. always had that determination of helping others, you know, I just what I like to do. I know first instinct, I'm going to be shocked, move and I'm feet. probably not going to be able to move my own feet. But then you got to think. Think fast. React. Figure out what you're going to do. Either it's going to be an escape plan for everyone, and you're going to figure out how to get them out, or, you know, it's I fight or fight. Is fight it going to be your life? Are you, are you, you want to be the one to save everybody? Yeah. Are you okay with dying now? Are you okay with your life right now to say, hey, I'm okay with what I've done. I know everyone has everything to go for them, as well as myself. But I don't see anyone else doing it. Yeah. Can I do it? Negotiation. It doesn't have to be in a physical fight. Just because you're not the one that's, like, run out there and battle. Most of these people who, who are, are in this predicament of, of being a school shooter are ones that have been mentally, physically, emotionally abused. Mm-hmm. Whether it's family or peers, teachers, anyone. And sometimes trying to be the hero is just pure stupidity, too. It could like, be. you might just run them. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, And then it's just like, oh, easy kill, bam. Is like, that, like, selfless, or is that just... It's just, in my opinion, it's just stupid. I think it should be a calculated attack. Yeah. If you're going to try to save the day, it's got to be very calculated. Yeah. Well, you know, you know they're teaching kids right now how to save lives and stuff. They're teaching the high school, middle school kids how to self- save lives. I couldn't imagine growing up today like, I know, in, I mean, in that, like, to where it's like, hey, if, if a shooter yeah. comes in, you're going to want to RKO him we're right whenever he walks in the door. Our kids are, our kids are <laughs> in trouble. You know, we're supposed to be safe in school. That's what they always told us. You are safe in school. Your parents say school's safer than daycares. They don't even care to put your kids in daycare. They're like, I don't trust a daycare. But they will put you in school because you are supposed to feel safe at school. Now kids don't feel safe at school. You think I'd feel safe if I had to go through a metal detector? Oh. How safe I'd feel I? safer. I'd feel safer. You think that until someone figures out how to get through that. Yeah. And then it becomes even worse because there's no one else to protect. So now they have, here's teachers who can carry their concealed weapon with a license. But then who's to say someone doesn't trip them off? Yeah. Who's their psych evaluation. A teacher won't. So yeah. Long. A teacher's not going to get triggered. Right. Yeah. They're not going to get triggered. They have to deal with kids all day. Do you think... Do you think we don't hear about the teachers that get triggered? Right. I'm 
it's it that is a really hard one to oh, talk okay. about Did that's totally controversial i don't want to put anything out there we've been yeah. it's been really good it hasn't been out in the media i haven't yeah. heard about anything that's happened recently but you know what do they say when the election comes around all the controversy comes out mm. yeah that's definitely true are was, you wait are you a citizen Yes, I was born in America. Oh, I didn't know if you were born here. And Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory. Do you guys want to talk about that? That's right. Because you guys right. both, you guys are that's both right, bilingual, that's right. right? That's right. Oh my God, that it's was so okay. dumb of me. Okay. No, I, I forget that Puerto right. Rico is a U.S. I'm territory. Sure there's, a, there's a lot of people that don't know. No, I, no, I said, did you know that, that Jordan? That okay, well. Hey, I, I, no, no, I it's because I'm not stupid. That's that's why. Whoa, listen, I wasn't born here. I literally had to take a test to become a citizen. It's like this. Thick. Which we probably couldn't take now, just no, to be honest about seriously, it. Seriously, I was so st- like lit- nothing in college or s- grade school, high school Covered made me made, no. <laughs> Why does it even fly on me? That was a fly. Nothing made me this test that I had to take to become a citizen. I studied this huge book, and I was so nervous, more nervous than any test I'd ever taken. And I was like, your citizenship is riding on this test. Yes. And I had paid $700 before this. And there were like two other. Is it visits. pass or fail? Um, you like, yeah, at this point, like they, they give you the, like there was two other visits before and then they invite you to take the test. And then the next, the next visit is the oath ceremony. So it was like, it was like, I'm this far from the oath ceremony to like swear into the and US. you came to the U.S. in like like age, very young age, two, right? At one, one no, I, it was my first birthday. Oh wow! Yeah, and I mean, I've always felt like I'm an American, but once I finally turned eighteen, I I had the option of becoming a citizen, and going through all of this, and I was like, of course, I want to legally be a, a citizen. Mm-hmm. I have and a question now. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you didn't pass the test, you get deported. No, 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 no. Right, that's what I'm. That's no, I'm a permanent resident. But I have a green card. You're not an American citizen. You're I'm not an American Vietnamese citizen, citizen, but I. Is that what it is? Yeah, it was like they were like at the oath ceremony. They say, "Well, now you have to let go of your loyalties to your other country and give hand over your permanent resident card, which they call the green card." And it's not literally green. It's like this <laughs> card, and it's. What like, does that mean? Let go of your loyalties. Oh, I mean, you're not let go. To your let, let, let go of your the country that you were a citizen of. Uh huh. Because I was born. Why in can't Viet- you love them both? Well, I still, I still love Vietnam. No, I just mean that's a weird, like, ethical yeah, dilemma a- to like for the for one country to ask of of a citizen, like somebody wanting to be a citizen of their country well, as well. I don't think that the um, I don't think that he meant that like that way, but that's how he said it. Okay, I mean, and that's how I took it. He was like, "Yeah, let go of your loyalties. We're gonna join us. We're gonna take your. We're gonna take all your documents." And I'm like, "Take them, because <laughs> like I'm literally an infant on this card. If you look at this card, I'm an infant mm-hmm. on there, and I'm like, take it. This is the reason why my license was always backed up, my paperwork. Like I tried to like renew my license. It took a month because I was. I'm not. They had to like." Review a lot it. of little inconveniences. Yeah, it was like, and up. I'm like, I'm an American. It's all because you didn't, you weren't born here. That's yeah. 100% why. But then once I got something completely out of your I control, I got this certificate, this beautiful certificate, and it said that uh, you're now a citizen officially. You're sworn in, like, because I went to the oath ceremony, and it was like a beautiful day because I just felt like finally. The government like believes that I'm a part of this country, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> which probably, I've been a part of this country this whole time. You're probably just glistening with with citizenship. <laughs> yeah, you're and, just radiating and with I'm citizenship. Looking, yeah. And I'm looking around, and <laughs> other people are like getting the oath ceremony translated to them in English, and I'm just like, this is what America is all about. It's a melting pot, and we all came here from these different countries. Did you cry? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. You know me. Yeah. I'm like so sensitive. I'm just like, yeah. I'm happy. No, that's this, okay. I'm this gonna cut like so at the the before the oath ceremony. I'm about to cut right now. The oath ceremony before oh. that. Uh, before the oath ceremony, um, the actual test that I had to study for. I'm in this fucking Captain America shirt that I found <laughs> in the boys that section. That is awesome, by the way. That is awesome. Found in the boys section at Walmart. Some irony. Like, I'm like, maybe I'll like maybe I'll maybe I will pass because i'm wearing this captain america shirt <laughs> and i'm like 
I like saw my friend Bailey that morning. I'm like, what do you think? And she's like, that is one patriotic Asian. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. you're right, bitch. Like, I'm going to pass this. She had like. So you, you wore a, it, you, wait, two of my right. tests. Two <laughs> yeah. of the tests that they gave me. I'm in a Captain America shirt from the boys section in Walmart. And I'm just like, still ready. Like, I'd taken like so much Adderall. I'm like, I'm like, lay it on me. Lay it on me. Lay it on me. And like, they're like, okay, first question. Um. What year was the Declaration of Independence signed? I'm like, 1776. Go ahead. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what is the current um, the current president's dem- um, political party? And I'm like, Democratic. Next. And they're like, oh, damn, this girl's good. <laughs> like, she's good. <laughs> and they're like, uh, Did you hear that? that? You hear that? She was quick. <laughs> yeah, she's quick. Yeah. And they're like, what else? What else can we ask her? They asked me. I can't remember the third question. I think it was like, um... It was something like silly because there was this full book of things I had to learn. Like my friend Bailey had done flashcards all night. There was like 150 flashcards and they literally asked me those two and like another one. And they were supposed to ask five, but they're like, this girl obviously knows her stuff. And then the next question was um, they're like, okay, let's move on to the written part of this. We're going to tell you a sentence and then you write it out. And they're like, the elephant <laughs> is at the circus. <laughs> well, I mean, what? You, were, you were here since one. I'm sure you I can know. Do that. So I'm just like, the elephant is at the circus. And I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, very good. Oh, like they would say very it to well. you orally yeah, and they then they orally, wanted to. Yeah, it was like oh, the oral. oh, I thought it was a riddle. I'm like, what does no, that have written, to do? Like, <laughs> no, written part. Like, I, mean, I had to write. Not know, She's like though, trying to think it through. Well, no. You know, they, this, is the same, this is the same test they give to everybody. Uh, okay. So, um, and then they were like, okay, very good. Um, so next we're going to show you the sentence and then you're going to say it out loud. And they hold up the sentence. So you're just like unnecessarily added out for this. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, Eyes they're like, they're like hold this, they hold this like, and it says the airplane is in the sky. And I'm just like, um, <laughs> the airplane is in the sky. And they're like, very good. You passed. And I was you're like, a citizen. <laughs> They're like, yeah, watch in the mail for your invitation to the oath ceremony. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> well, I mean, if you think I was up now. all How night. How much did you study? How I'm much like, did you study? I, I stayed up all night. I literally had not had a <laughs> blink of sleep. Uh-huh. And I'm in this fucking Captain America shirt. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? <laughs> that was it? And like my brother failed. Like my brother didn't make it to the oath ceremony Aww. with me. And I was like, see you on the other side, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no. I, I, I was like, oh, shit. This sounds very similar to my initiation <laughs> to ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to go. Yeah, that one you can't joke about out there. That one's See, a- stop. You got to be sensitive to it. Like- that, that's funny, right? No, it's not to Americans. Is, that is funny. Not, not, that's not funny. to Americans. It is not funny. I think it's funny. Well, it's funny. Um, Obviously, I, 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 I laughed. Okay, I'm not gonna you laugh. You laughed. I you laughed. I did laugh. That's okay, all well, that matters. was her nervous laugh. It wasn't. Laugh, but you know, when uh, somebody comes knocking at your door, don't be surprised. Hey. Uh, Wait, who? Who's knocking at my I door? Don't know. They're gonna check to see if you work. We gon' find you. We gon' find you. Sometimes I do like search something weird on Google, and I'm like, "Are they gonna come looking for me?" Because I search. If you do it too many times, I'm sure they would. Oh, I only do it once, just to know, and then I. (laughs) 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 You're talking about porn. It's like like nothing. You're talking about porn, uh, aren't you? (laughs) You know, if everyone got arrested for porn, uh, we would all be in jail. Which technically we are, if you look at it. Trump's building a border. Against Texas, that is just the beginning. My mom, my mom will be like, um, I'll be like, Mom, did you hear about Trump? And she has this really thick accent, and she's like, Oh, I'm already here. I'm already here. <laughs> she's like, Ten you, baby. That's all you need. Like, she's like, As long as you're like, you know, I find that like, very funny. humorous. I'm she's not really lie. freaking funny. She's just like, Trump ain't touching me, and I'm like. Okay, <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it's like I'm already here, baby. I'm already here. <laughs> Like, in America. I'm like, hey, I'm good. I have a I'm a citizen. There was one time I had a pass I had my passport and it was like trying to like renew something and they were like, Do you have proof that you're a citizen? And I was like, This is my passport. <laughs> this is my US passport. Now was that here in Missouri? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. I'm like, this is my US passport. <laughs> I can't have a passport unless I'm a citizen of the United States. And they were like, Do you have another form of like 
proof that you're are you serious Oh, See, that's hard. How do you deal with that? Because I know sometimes yeah. I got to swallow my pride <laughs> and I have to really talk to them. I, I had this one Uber driver <laughs> come pick me up. You know, old white man in a red pickup truck. A nice pickup truck, you know? It sounded like a song, like a jingle or something. <laughs> <laughs> Might be later. White man in a pickup truck. So he comes and picks me up. White you know, man we, in a pickup <laughs> truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's red. It's red. Don't forget it's red. Red pickup there truck. There you go. Yeah, yeehaw, right? So he goes, and we're talking, and he's like, so uh, you're not from around here. And I was like, no, you know, um, I moved here from Florida, but I'm Puerto Rican. And I always, I always try to put it out there that I'm Puerto Rican. Say Puerto Rican again. And I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I always do that because out here, they, not a lot of people see a lot of uh, Latinos, you know. Yeah. They see a lot of mixed people, which I totally understand. So we're just driving and talking, and he's like, yeah, well, I just want to let you know, welcome to America. And I said... <laughs> Um, I, I was born in New York, <laughs> uh, lived in Massachusetts, moved to Welcome Florida, to you know, moved out here. I said, Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, just to let you know. And he's like, oh, Wait, okay. okay. Hold on, I didn't know that. Okay. Was it's okay. So he, was, he, he was being friendly, though, right? Uh, he was being friendly. Uh, well, I don't know. Okay, well, let, well, look, look. Then we get to my house. We finally get to my house, and I'm like, well, thank you so much for the ride. I appreciate it. And he goes, yeah, I just want to say welcome to America again. <laughs> and I was like, I'm American. <laughs> All right. Listen. It's Listen just, up, bitch. <laughs> I've been here longer than you have, bitch. You know what? Probably my ancestors were here before him, just to say. Who knows? But still, it's the insensitivity to I told you something. You obviously didn't listen, didn't care to listen, didn't care to even acknowledge it, and that. continue to feel and think the way you thought. <coughs> I hate that. And I hate when people are like, oh, you're from a different country? Well, your English is really good. I'm like, well, I've been here since I was one. <laughs> so I hope my English is good. Right. But, but don't you think these people are just trying to come up with small talk? Yeah, they're, they're, they're just trying to come up with small talk and just trying to be friendly. Like they, Their the intentions whole, are probably pretty pure. I'm that's okay. Whole, what's In your that, favorite yeah. food? What's your, what's your favorite yeah. color? You know, when's yeah. your birthday? Instead mm -hmm. of, uh, mm -hmm. here's some a racial comment I want to make to you and ask a question of because I am not... I'm not but that's less surface level. That's less surface yeah, level. And it's also like a, it's a quick observable thing about you too. Yeah. Well, I'm I mean, I just don't like you from out in Missouri. You speak yeah, well, we like we got here and we've only been in the Midwest. So you should know so, this. Like, this like these these like conversations I have all the time. Like literally my friends would be like, "Oh, my nail lady is Vietnamese." Um, mm. But sometimes she's saying something, and I think she's talking bad about me, and I don't know what she's saying. And I'm like, girl, why would she be talking bad about you? Do you guys feel like um? You just you just don't know because you don't know what they're saying. You don't know what they're saying. Yeah. Then you and they're assuming. holding your hand, so you're like they they have to be yeah. talking about me, right? I mean, I do. Okay, sometimes I do. <laughs> okay, I do go to the nail salon sometimes, and I'll keep my hat really low. And they will be speaking in Vietnamese, and I'm just like, I'll keep my hat really low until the very end. I'll say I want to take you with me one of these days. I'll say something. <laughs> no, like, they don't say anything about the whole time, but, like, sometimes, like, at the end, I'll, like, say something in Vietnamese, and they're like, <gasps> yeah, No way. They're like, were you, Viet were you Vietnamese this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> no, just for these five minutes at the end of it. <laughs> I'm like, I was Vietnamese this whole time. <laughs> She's I undercover, heard, run. <laughs> I heard, what, run I heard what you said about my eyelashes. Yes, they're real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're real. Yeah, and it's not nothing negative either. They're yeah, just talking to each no. other. It's because um, Vietnamese sounds really abrasive and like, and like really ugly language. So it is. I it is like natural. Seems aggressive sometimes. It's natural for someone to think like that in Vietnamese that someone's saying something bad. But literally, like there was one time my mom was like, "Hey, push that chair in in front of my friends," and they were like, "What's your mom mad about? She's really mad." And I was like, "Oh no, she just told me to push that chair in." <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't yelling. At, What's your mom yelling about now? <laughs> <laughs> Why she's just mad? The that you use when you speak Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's yeah. like very like fluctuates a lot. Like mm -hmm. if I ever you ever feel like I'm like throwing your my voice at you. Oh, she's yelling. It's yeah, because like it's because <laughs> I speak Vietnamese every day to my mom. Mm -hmm. I learned English when I was five. I personally don't feel that way with you, but I, I get what, I get what <laughs> you're saying. Yeah, like if I'm ever like, eh, 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 like, it happens more when I'm drunk, but like, I'll like, be oh, like yeah. throwing my voice at someone and they're like, why are you yelling at me? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I think I've done it a couple yeah, times. When my voice gets, <laughs> when my voice gets relaxed, because, you know, being bilingual, 
Right. You start like you start like rolling your R's a lot when you like start getting drunk or something. Mm-hmm. And they're like, Alyssa just rolled her R's and they're like, and that word wasn't even any R's. Do you guys think <laughs> <laughs> like that word didn't even have any R's and Alyssa just rolled that whole word? <laughs> She's like, Are you Lollipop. are you working the <laughs> shuttle? <laughs> <laughs> like Alyssa, stop with the <laughs> there were no R's. I in the get room. relaxed, you're right? Yeah. When I get relaxed. And I just let everything flow out <laughs> the way it's supposed to flow out. I just let it go. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, I it's can't even roll. Tongue. <laughs> <laughs> What's all about some more? <laughs> no. What's all about more? Okay, now there is a way to roll don't, your tongue. Don't roll don't roll your mind. arms with your tonsils. And the way we do it is we roll. Well, I got my tonsils, tonsils removed. Yeah, well, how'd you do that? Am I at. <laughs> 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 so I know a guy. I know a guy. At the doctor's <laughs> So I know a guy, he, he lives a few doors down. He came over. He knocked me out. Choked me out. No anesthesia, nothing. Just choked me out cold. No, shut I up. woke up, no right tonsils. Now. No tonsils. Get out of here. <laughs> Are you I know now. I know now. Okay, I know now. I, I believe he used a butter knife. <laughs> I think it was a butter knife. knife? No lube. Yeah, no lube. Did he at no least like light it on fire? The knife to get rid of all, you know, the duh. Oh, and the bacteria. Yes. Oh my. I hope How so. How do you say bacteria in Spanish? Bacteria. Bacteria. You know, actually, you're not far from it. I will bacteria. Give you <laughs> I did an impression of you one time when you weren't around, and I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. Don't I'm be sorry. I want to hear this. Events. I'm like. And Melissa she was here. She'd be like, "Y'all are fucking nuts." <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone's like, "She would have." That's said. definitely a compliment. <laughs> you know, it's like, "Do you ever watch SpongeBob when you're a kid?" It was like five hours later. <laughs> like, and she's still like, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of like a like an angry child that like sits there just like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going super saiyan. It is no right but Yeah, yeah, get, going super saiyan except just with rolling your arms. No, that's <laughs> nuts. Uh, nuts. No, it's like it's like it just comes natural, like you do. And I feel like sometimes when I hang out with you, I start talking and it's like. It, Puerto Rican accent and I'm like why am I talking like that <laughs> adapting to your surroundings do you guys think there's a certain kind of like intelligence or like <clears throat> certain understanding that comes with being bilingual yes yes because but, we don't speak like uh, English it's not spoken because I'm limited in I one am language Alyssa you know it's like Alyssa I am yeah you it's, like you have to really because with Vietnamese I just I only understand some words so then I have to take in the, like the context and like pull it together the words I know mm-hmm. whereas like in English you're like dissecting each word sometimes but in Vietnamese it's like I know this word I know this word I know this word and you then figure it out but then it couldn't mean something else really right the, in English like you're like I know this word I know this word I know this word if you did that and then you put it together like if someone didn't understand English like a foreign person was like well, I know this word. I know this word. I know this word, and put it together. Giselle, they're like, they're like, did you just call me a pussy ass bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just asked if you wanted to, like, see my girl cat. Like, you know, like, you know, like, it was like. No, it's, it's definitely like that. You know, it, yeah, it's, it's a different understanding. Uh, Your mind thinks differently. So, yeah. what's something I say all the time? People get is I say car Irish bomb. <laughs> Instead of Irish car bomb. And I will Well, that's know, a drink, right? You, it's a shot that you do with um, you, J- J- uh, Guinness and yeah. Bailey's and Jameson. Okay. And you drop it in there. You drop the, you do a half J- Jameson, a half Bailey's. You drop it in the Guinness and you shoot it back. And yeah. I, I, in my head, I'm always like. Car, Irish. Instead of Irish I, car. Because I'm, in Spanish, you say. The noun hey, and talk, then. Here, talk into the mic more. You say yeah. the noun and then you're... I'm just... It, I'm like, I know this is a car... It's, here I am, car Irish bomb. It's a I car just, that's I, Irish. It's a car Irish bomb, even though it's, yeah. an, it's an Irish car bomb. But I always say, I want a car Irish bomb, please. Yeah. Every time. I get that. It's almost like, like in... Anybody who speaks English, it's like you're thinking about yeah. it backwards. But it's like, you're not thinking about it backwards. Right. You're just thinking about it differently. I'm just thinking about it how yeah. it was... So are you able to analyze language from different perspectives? Totally. Like, totally. 
Interesting. Totally. It's the same in Vietnamese, though. You mm-hmm. say, like, if you're, like, saying pretty person, you say người đẹp, but you're literally saying person pretty. Right. You're not saying pretty person. You're saying person pretty. Because người means person. đẹp means pretty. So yeah. the adjectives go after. Yeah. So you're saying, like, the noun, and then you like, you're, you're like, and it's pretty, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you're like, this person... And he's old, you know, like you just it's you're describing the noun after but in English. Yeah. And I don't know if any other languages like that. Most languages speak the same as far as uh, noun, pronoun, adjective. Yeah. Um, they they that's why they say English is the hardest language to learn on top of the fact that we also put in is that are. Those are unnecessary words <coughs> that don't need to be need. And we don't use that in, in different well, languages. In your opinion, like, I mean, in English, in English language, like not to argue with you, but in English language, they do need those connected no, words. That's, no, that's the, for English. But that's, my mom, when my mom is trying to understand what someone's saying in English, she's not going to look at is the duh she's like trying to look at the big words yeah and then she like doesn't know what anyone's saying especially if they're like saying a figure of speech or something like god forbid then she's just like i don't know what that person's saying i have no idea what that person's saying you know Mm. what they mean to what they mean behind what they mean by it right you know so it's just like you have to watch well that's why they call it broken english when someone else who doesn't speak english is speaking they yeah. don't use those those words in there. So they call it broken English because English is the way we speak. Like we're speaking now and broken is not to use that. No, I mean, look at Giselle that we we had the twice now, which she's yeah. amazing. She's awesome. She's cool. She's Did great. Did we tell you about Giselle? No. Oh, she's our Uber driver. Oh, Tom, go you. ahead. Tell him about the first <laughs> sentence. What? Your go Uber ahead. driver to get over here tonight? No, 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 no. No. So we rode with Giselle twice now and... The first time we met Giselle, Alyssa was at her house, and I was at my house. This was on 4th of July. So, of course, like, I'm lit from the family barbecue, and I get an Uber back home, and Alyssa's like, I want to come hang out. Well, I couldn't come get Alyssa, so I called an Uber to go get Alyssa and bring her to me. And I'm like, yo, the Uber's there. And Alyssa, like, looks outside, and she's like, no, it's not. <laughs> and I like look outside my house and I'm like, oh, fuck, it's here. Yeah. Uh, so you mix it up. Yeah, yeah. I like mixed up the. So I go outside and I'm like, hey, I'm so sorry. You're supposed to be at my friend Alyssa's to like take her to my house. Uh-huh. And like, and then I messed it up and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, Giselle's just like staring at me because I'm talking so, you know, like, get, like talking so fast. Mm-hmm. And I was like, do you understand what I'm saying? And she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you are at my house. Alyssa, my friend, mi amiga, because it said on um, Uber, she speaks Spanish. I was like, mi amiga, my friend, at her house, you have to get her, bring her back here. And she goes, oh, Alyssa's not here. <laughs> and I was like, no. Right. <laughs> yeah. Alyssa is at her house. Uh. And she's like, okay, 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 okay. She's like, I go get Alyssa. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and she's like, and I come back here. I'm like, yes. And she's like, okay. <laughs> and she's like, Alyssa, okay. I was like, she speaks Spanish. She's like, oh, good, good, good. Well, she's she awesome. was like, she was Thank so God. Happy. Yeah. She was so happy. And like, yeah, she went and got you. And she like, you guys loved oh, each other. She's a really cool person. Yeah. She's great. Um, mm-hmm. She also speaks fluent Japanese. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's been in the States for seven years now. She is a, a citizen. She is a citizen she's here. A citizen. And I told her, I was like, that's great. <gasps> Thank Sorry. goodness there's nothing else in there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Round right. two. <laughs> Only it would be Khan's fault this time. <laughs> Please uh, cut that out of the tape. Actually, one thing that we saw that was very surprising, <laughs> it was unfortunate, was we saw an accident. So we were driving down the street. I don't know which way she turned, but it wasn't Cherry's, like, way before that. And as we were driving down, the police have the road blocked off. You can see the ambulance there. I mean, they have, like, it's like a crime scene. Well, you see a bike that flipped over on the side. Oh, no. And a pickup truck. No. Yeah. That's so sad. And it's the 4th of July, so you can only imagine 
someone's not paying attention. Someone could be under the influence. You know, they're rushing to go somewhere. And I was like, man, like this you didn't is tell me about this that. is crazy. I'm surprised that I didn't. That's sad. You know, I was still getting into the fact that here I am, and I'm like, you know, I'm I'm gonna look festive. Not that I, I mean, I'm sorry, not that I really care, but I'm gonna look festive for you know, because I want to spend time with my family. I you, I got upset that night because being far away from my family on holidays is really hard for me. That was a big day for us. So I I did my yeah. eyeshadow all night. It's got the red, white, and blue going on. Mm-hmm. You know, wearing this blue dress and everything, yeah. just you trying go, to be. You go, girl. You like this, you go, girl. It. You're like yeah. this is not gonna ruin in my right but it was just July, sad but it was like, sad it's it just just sad. to come to think of it is what if i had a friend come pick me up who, yeah. who might have had a few drinks that i didn't know of and ruin a day of a, of a great day especially for you Con, you know it's your it's, oh girl that, that, what did you so post what did you post on instagram about your citizenship and what a great day this is um, if anybody should be happy that you're here, I'm sure we all are. Well, the big, like the big day for well, me. Well, you was care, you care more. Okay, it's crazy to say you care more about being here than the people who are born here. I know, and I've said this to Jordan before. Like I've like I've like teared up while saying like talking about it because I'm just like I'm so grateful to be here because I do go back to Vietnam and I'm just like they look at me different. They do when I go back to Vietnam. They look at me different. They're like, "Hey, American," and I'm like. Hey, you know, what am I supposed to say? Right. But they're just like bowing down at me. And I'm like, I am no better than Look, you. Look, that's what my brother said when he went I'm to no Puerto Rico. And you. that's a U.S. territory. Yeah. He said they literally looked at him like he was a king. Well, it's because they're so grateful. Or they're just so grateful. You but know? they can't make the same steps. And why is that? You know? well, what do you mean by the same some steps? Some people don't want to. Yeah. Some people don't want right. to live here, Alyssa. Some people do not want to live here. But then don't make. We've been trying like I'm more than you or better than you because well, I'm no, not. You they're know? just they don't know how to communicate it because it's in a different language. Like they're not so they speaking. almost put you up on a pedestal. Yeah, like mm-hmm. they'll like they'll like they'll just be like, "You're an American, aren't you?" Like you know, like I heard about you, duh. and I'm like, "Calm down." Like I'm just wanting, like you know, I'm not gonna be like I'm from America. I right. think that some people do come. Do you think that like some people do come to like poor countries and they're like, "This is like." This is ridiculous. Well, because the American <laughs> currency is supposed to be, you know, it's, it's pretty high up there. Well, it's because they, they honestly, I think that they do teach people, treat dif- people different because they have money. And some people just want to treat them different because they think that those people are going to And they shouldn't. You want to know why? Because America is built on the melting pot. We are all a little bit of everything in the whole world. <laughs> and that's what, that's why our teams are good. Because they're not all native born because they would have color on their skin because <laughs> the Indians were here first. Have you ever yeah. seen a <laughs> – there's, there's a state of comedian that talks about that. Like, have you ever seen the, the United States men's national team in, like, <laughs> basketball or whatever? It's, like, like so much diversity. But then – <laughs> Let me let me let me ask you. All right, it was gymnastics. It was gymnastics. Like, whenever those – you remember the girls, like, the five girls that were all, like, really good in the United States and then China was, like, second best – Look at the Chinese gymnastics team. Let me. You want to guess what it was? All Asians. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's uh, a perfect point into all of it, for real. It's like it's like people don't realize that like we've all come together and everything, but there are some people that are back in the native countries that do not want to come here. They don't. They culture. Don't. It's culture. It's about the culture. That's well, why. They, no, they just hear all these awful stories. Well, and I, I mean, think, yeah, but it's a culture behind it. I mean, yeah, I'm that. like, I think that America, like, and that's why I got so emotional this last 4th of July, because I was like, looking at my little citizenship, like, certificate. And I was Wait, like, you got your citizenship on the 4th? No, it was in February, but like every oh, every okay. fourth, every fourth okay, I like yeah, every fourth I get emotional because cool I'm like, July, but. yeah, I didn't. It didn't happen that That's way. That's really cool because you. I mean, you and I pretty much have the same background of being born here and whatnot. I mean, y- you were born here as well, right? I wasn't born. I wasn't uh, born. Well, born here. Not born here, but like, I mean, you're you've been here your entire yeah, life. Yeah, I've been here my entire. But like, life. you have a lot more gratitude than I do. I do, which I, I do, admire. But it's because I we I go back to Vietnam every couple years, mm-hmm. and when I come back, I'm so grateful. Okay. Because, like, I'll just be, like, doing something simple, like, hanging, like, because we have a washer at our house and at my grandma's in Vietnam, but we don't have a dryer because she just, she thinks it's just silly, so we'll hang things (laughs) up, but it was, like, this day when it was, like, gonna rain, but they didn't know it was gonna rain, 
So we had to like go up and like take the clothes back down that we had just pinned up with the little like mm. yeah the clothes pins. Pins. and I was like okay like but like I was like this is just, this is so cool and I just look at my little sister and she's like this is fucking bullshit <laughs> she was like if they would just buy a dryer like everyone else and I was like yo why are you so mad it's and just different she's like why didn't they just check the weather and see if it was gonna rain then we went out to like oh my go gosh. and like <laughs> like do all this and i'm like that's i find that humorous i'm like this is so funny that you're so mad right now and she's it's like, like open-mindedness that's yeah. that's all and it it's is like i get back and i'm like putting clothes in my dryer and i'm like oh, i'm so happy <laughs> See what you what you, you have right now because I appreciate, you appreciate like appreciate everything that they offer here. Yeah, and it's, it's I want that gratitude. Just like it gives me more time to do things. I don't like do things. It's like some things just take more time. It's not as efficient, but they don't think about that. Sometimes, like, is it efficient or like the money? Like you know, like the efficiency is it worth the money? Kind of you know, like they don't have that like. Right. Because it's such a poor country. You know what I'm saying? Like, because buying a like, washer here might be like. Yeah. It's like I yeah, made $60 yeah. this month. Do I want to like put it towards a mm-hmm. washer or do I want to like Buy some take my take my niece that's visiting medicine. from Vietnam out for drinks? Yeah. You know, it's Absolutely. just like it's like crazy. It's crazy. And then Prioritizing, I, which is things that we take a, a for granted of out yeah, here. It's great. Mm-hmm. Like, what's our priorities, really? Mm-hmm. I told a friend a few years back, and he, this guy thought I was crazy. Like, he literally, he thought I was so crazy that he went to the extent of taking out his phone and recording a Snapchat story of me saying this. And I mm-hmm. fucking said it. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm saying it again on air. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> but I was, I, I, what I told him is I want to experience poverty. Like, I want to see it. I want to no, see yeah. it firsthand. Totally. And he's he's like, and I was like, honestly, I might even want to, like, experience it, not just, like, see it and be like, all right, cool, bye. Like, I may want to experience it, like, possibly even, like, live there. But the only thing that mm-hmm. – the only concern I have with that is, like, I don't want to catch, like, malaria or some no, and then they fatal shot, disease no, or something like that. This. They give you shots for all that. My mom has one I of those shots. I have a shot. I don't think you see it on camera. No. But, um, I had to get this shot when I came here. So oh, really? So I went and get polio or smallpox. I don't know which one it is exactly. I don't know. Let me ask my, my yeah. mom has it, too. Actually, my during the Cold War. Like mm-hmm. During the Cold just, War, they were trying to uh, – yeah. Russia was trying to, like – implement some kind of warfare like uh what's what's the name of it like pretty much infect like infect the would warfare, that would that be right right biological warfare i feel I like know. that i feel like that's close but i don't know if that's right it, it regardless like it, it pretty much you're trying to infect the public and russia was trying to they were looking into literally crossbreeding smallpox and polio oh my goodness it's the fact that you said those two together what yeah i don't know which one like to be able to infect the american public like that's crazy that like we're trying to come up with like another kind of virus or bacteria weaponizing things you know people come in and they're just like we're just gonna wind up destroying each other we're gonna destroy the whole world but we all come to terms with that so i appreciate what you have you what know, a don't weird kind of warfare. The moral of the story is you like know, it's a yeah. melting pot, and let's not kill each other right. with what we're bringing. I mean, let's just be let's, here for each other. let's Enjoy life. let's f- help each other yeah. with what we're bringing. You know, because I don't know. I don't, actually don't know what I brought when I came here. But humanity's damn. biggest threat to it is like us to itself. Ourself. Yeah. Yes. Like our the biggest threat in this world is really it really is a human being. It's I not mean, a fucking grizzly bear. Love, you know, if we if we were to get into religion, even though my mom always told me don't talk religion, don't talk politics, because there's always a agree to disagree, and nobody even wants to agree to disagree. They just want to disagree to disagree. You know, is that if you ever get into religion, if one thing ever holds and steadfast to everything, it's love. It's to love your neighbor and love everyone around you and treat them the way you want to be treated. That's and that's what, what I've it always just comes loved down about to. you. That's seriously what I love. Like anytime. I start getting negative about anyone. You're like, well, what do you think? Like, I talk they're to going. More. Where, what do you think they're going through? I mean, not trying to say like what their what their actions are. Yeah. Is, you know, it's or valid. You, however, like, yeah. there's people going through. You'll things just that you open because we talked about earlier, like yeah. opening your mind. Right. You're like earlier. You're just you're like, well, what do you like? How do you think they feel about that? Or you know, 
what they're going through and they're what they're, they're going just through hard time and they yeah. just just your mom taught you that that's beautiful um, you know, my mom taught me a lot my that's mom taught beautiful. me a lot but she also told me not to trust people not to talk to new people that all i have is my <laughs> brother and my sister <laughs> you know and she did and she did and that's what i tell my brother and my sister all i have is you no matter what whether i hate you or i love you that's that's all we have because that's what mom said did she say that on spanish you know n- you know she said it in english and she <laughs> yelled at us <laughs> okay, yeah. she only t- spoke spanish yeah. when she was yelling at you oh you know you know if she was speaking spanish Spanish, you were in trouble. <laughs> you were in trouble, and there it's was like no the way middle you name. The middle name. Oh yeah, oh, Jordan. Okay. What's your middle name? She Tyler. Never went to that, Jordan but. Tyler Fisher. Do you feel like you're in trouble? No, because I did what I wanted when I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> I always no. did what I wanted. He's I was, like, I was a stubborn. Are you an only child? No, no, I'm, I'm the oldest of three. Ah, oh, oh wow. He's but I was I'm stubborn. In the middle of three, just you know. Anytime my mom tried to control child, me. What's up? Yeah, we're unseen, okay? Yeah. Anytime my mom tried to control me, she, she, it, it always ended up backfiring. So I think my parents went in a more passive approach and just let me kind of run free and fuck up on my own and. So that's that's honestly like I think that was a very effective strategy to raise me personally. Do you think so? That's why you know actually you know I will you say that's why he acts the way he is because he's a well, middle child. But or he the has t- said he has said but as an older child, yeah, oh, he has okay. said that he wants to experience what it's like to be in a third world country in another country where you don't have the same freedoms that we have that's here. That's big. And that no, that's great that you want. You open guys, you guys have that. an understanding, and I, I mean there are certain levels to this understanding, but you guys have an understanding that I don't. Yeah, and that's the reality. And I've I have spent. Go ahead, go live with my mom. I would Just say, tell you what to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, with the exception of <laughs> like three, four months in Chicago, I've spent my probably ninety nine percent of my life in this state, like in Missouri. Yeah. And I don't know. It's a very it's a very limited perspective of the that's world. That's a really sad thought to have. I mean, ninety five percent. I'd say no, ninety nine. Oh, ninety nine. Well, I, I traveled a lot, like growing up I too, for soccer. Fortunately. We'll go 95, 95 for you. Traveling but not living. You know, mm. I mean, here I, I, me, if I speak for myself, I've lived in diverse areas all my life. Massachusetts was you know, something a little bit different. You lived in a tiny town, you know, there was not really a lot of diverse people in there, K through 12 school, very small. Um, but then I moved to Florida and can't deal with those type of people. I'm not even going to say that on here. Honestly, Florida but. man. <laughs> you seen that yeah. Florida man? <laughs> Uh, they type in your birthday. Yeah, Have you seen I call that? Them the Tampa niggas, but anyway. Oh. Uh, <laughs> then so I moved out to Missouri, and I mean, God forbid I say the N word out here. No. Uh, I mean, I might no. get away with I know. it. They're just gonna. No, you met David. Yeah. You met David on Fourth of July. She met my stepbrother, and he's from Albany, New York. Uh huh. And like when he first moved here, because our parents got married, and he moved here when he was seventeen, I brought him to a house party, and he's like, "What's up, niggas?" And I was like. Don't, 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 don't but he like he says it like can I say that on here? He says it like he says it like he means like homeboys, yeah. homies, like you know like Just what's like up? I would be like what's up, what's bitch? up? Like, like what's up, bitches? Yeah. But he said that and this like half black guy like stands up and he's like, "What'd you just say?" And I was like. No, 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 like he's from New York, and like as soon as I said he's from New York, everyone's like, "Oh, okay." Why should be allowed somewhere else? <laughs> I understand. Here we are no. moving out here, though, and all of a sudden, I can't speak my lingo. Yeah, or and also like slang. certain races. I, I, the way I see it is like you can say it as long as you're not white. Like, no, like, that is no. You can say it if you're no, white. You can I'm, say what? I had white Logic said it. Home, Logic said know? it on a song the other day. I was listening to I, Logic. Logic's Logic not with white. M&M. <laughs> Logic's out white. Here in, in, Logic yeah, Logic's super white. What, is how, uh, what, what else? Logic's light skinned, doesn't he? No, no, he's white. Is Logic light skinned? I think. Uh, Let's I, Google I, it. Google it right now. <laughs> Google it. Google it right now. Is, I don't know how much. Uh, We're gonna Google the time I don't know how much too. data I have to be oh honest with you. You guys want to race me on this Google? Because okay. to be honest, I'm like, my my what yeah my wife is? yeah my data ran out. What is Logic's race? Should I say have said ethnicity? Yeah, is it ethnicity? Ethnicity. Okay. I found this on the web for what is Logic's race. Check it out. Oh, he's mixed. He's the black dad, white mom. <laughs> really? He's mixed. <laughs> told you. Told he's, you. Really? That's my yeah. future husband. I already know. <laughs> I'm learning things. I already things. know. He's mixed. No yeah. way. Yeah, he wow, is. he looks super white. He I just hate that white. people think, oh, mm-hmm. because I, well, and I, okay, um, let me not say hate because I have used that out here to, in order to. Oh, you, you need to get away from drinks, okay? In Please order cut to, that like, out of here. Something so people can appreciate and be like, I have black in me, or y'all think I'm black anyway, so I'm gonna say this. 
But it shouldn't be because I have black in me because Puerto Rican is a mix of three different uh, races. Uh, but the fact that if you came to me like, you're my nigga. And I'd be like, you're my homie. You're my nigga too. Like, you're my friend. That's, mm-hmm. that's what I mean. Yet it's a respect as almost you're as close as family to me. Yeah. That's what okay. I mean by that saying. So the fact that I can't say certain things out here because you're going to be offended whether you're white or black, well, then you know what? You need to get cultured and go somewhere. Go somewhere and get cultured and tell me if you're going to fight somebody who says that to you when they're just trying to be nice and say, I accept you for you. And that's pretty much yeah. what it is. I accept so almost, you for you. Yeah, they're, they're kind of assuming the intentions. Yeah, people like, yeah, people I'm that saying, get I'm not saying a hard offended. R, and I'll say hard R on here instead of actually saying the word because that is, that is you know, a bad word to say because when you say the hard R, you're actually meaning it in a negative form, mm-hmm. and you're you're really trying well, to hurt somebody. In a when did it, way. When did the word become like? When did the semantics of that word become? Nigga. Yeah, at some point. Mm-hmm. See, I don't even feel like super comfortable saying it on air. Like, right. I, I yeah. like my entire life, I've grown up like don't say that because like you, I, you, you don't, don't know that you've grown you're up in the here. Bible yeah, Belt. True. You know. Yeah. You're true. Here. You're grown up in the Bible Belt, and where? Right. I mean, and just do you think like being bilingual, like and from different regions helps yeah but at what point in human history you can understand what somebody means in the word of slang yeah an understanding of it instead of learning the way you have learned see i understand it i just don't say it i just stay away from it remember when when, okay remember when okay can i like interrupt when on on fourth of july (laughs) you tried to say dita and you were like detail i always say it wrong every time but you tried to say it to david's stepmom and i was like I was like, don't say that to her. Because it's a bad word. No. What it, is, what's the word? It, what? It, so say it with me. D. D. Cha. 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 It means yeah. bitch. Like in Vietnamese. D. Cha. Yeah. It just means like, it just means like bitch, you know, uh-huh. in slang. But she was trying to say it to David's stepmom. And I was like, shh. Like you can't say it to but like. But I say porridge every time. So. Yeah. But she said D. Chow. <laughs> she said D. Chow. And I was like. I always You do. want some soup? I do like porridge though. You want some soup? I really do. I do. And she's like. I just said D. Chow to David's mom. And it. um, She didn't say anything. And I'm like. You're lucky you didn't say the actual word. She loves me still. Okay. She didn't love you. But at what point in human history do you think the. Like the meaning of that word was like originally yeah. coined as like a like a very offensive thing um, towards black people yeah. and then it like switched up to black people owning it just switching up the last two I letters what i was trying to say to like, more slang the word term in vietnamese like if you would have just said it like without the first word it would have been super offensive i think it's what you're like the context well, um, okay so when it comes to you know right. speaking about you know nigga and nigger okay well, uh-huh. i'll okay. say it. i'm just okay to say, say it. it it's that when they, when the plantation owners used nigger, uh-huh. that was, you know, a negativity towards them and putting them in their spot as an I am your owner. Mm-hmm. Well, within the talking black down, race, talking down they to them. were the ones that started nigga. They started it. So it wasn't yeah. that. Wait, referring else at what point in history? They were like still, on the plantation? They were still slaves. They were still slaves. Oh. So when they were able to say nigga to each other, it was it, this is what we do within our culture. You know, so when everyone else said it, yeah, you're right out here. It's not acceptable because it hasn't made it to that point of diversity out here where it's allowed, where people accept it within the norm. But out there now, everyone accepts it as you where I'm introducing you to my family. Now we are family. You are my nigga. Okay. Is that so? So and if any, but if you do say the hard R out here or anywhere else, they know that those are fighting terms. That's a let's throw down. You don't respect me. I'm not going to respect you. Isn't that so crazy that what about, two like, words in English could mean something two different? Two separate things. It's and, like there, there, and, and it's there, like, okay? And it's like, and then like, I'm like, you don't even know what you were saying in Vietnamese just now when you were saying something that you thought. Right. It's like, you don't even realize like what, how you could offend someone that speaks a different language when you were saying something. You didn't even know like meant something bad. Right. You know? Yeah. Because I didn't mean it to yeah. Because I was an educated. Exactly. It's uneducated. crazy that they're being uneducated. Right. It's mm-hmm. wild that there are words that exist in language that you can mm-hmm. say them. Just walk up to somebody, say nothing else, just that word, and you could start a fight. Yeah. yeah, yeah you could came literally up and start. Me a spit, I would be like, you know what? Let's go. Um, I don't even listen. care if you're Hispanic <laughs> or not. We're throwing down because you Wait. know that means that you don't respect. Wait, it's spick 
right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I thought you said yeah. spit like S P I T. Oh, like yeah. someone called. No, I, I learned I learned Who's that when calling? I was living in Chicago. My friend, yeah. my my Mexican friend, actually taught me that. He's Who's like calling my baby he's like, a sick. Nobody, because nobody knows. Uh-huh. So how did that word derive? You know, I don't, I don't know. Because I was hurt, like, b- in the Midwest, growing up here in Missouri, I, what I had always heard is, like, beaner. And that was, like, the most, that was, like, the what most offense, beaner. Oh, that's like that was like the most. You can't yeah, say that was that. like the most offensive. And then like, and apparently that's not even bad to say, but like, spick is like the N word to My mom Latinos. Was the one that, that was the one that said, "Don't ever mm-hmm. let anyone call you that," because that's what they say out in Puerto Rico and stuff like that sometimes. So like my mom, based on how she grew up and also growing up in New York and being in a Puerto Rican community, because you know everybody has their own block and stuff out there when it comes to cultures. And she said, don't ever let anyone even call you a spick. And I'm, I didn't even know. I didn't know what that was. Your I'm mom just like, sounds all like a I knew, All I knew was, don't everybody call me that. Because my mama said, you can't call me that. And uh-huh. if you call me that, I'm going I'm to make sure you swing on me first. <laughs> you know, we told me, make sure you swing on me first. <laughs> yeah. I don't put the first My mama always said that, too. Yeah. And then I say, call my first. mama. <laughs> call my mama. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. Call my mama. <laughs> That's what my mama always said. Like, call my mama. I said, all right, mama, I got it. You were so... But I never got in a fight, though, okay? Is your mom, like, crazy as shit? Because she sounds she like... She a, is so sane. What are you talking about? Like mama, what are you school? She sounds like a She's badass so motherfucker. Chill. What you mean? Mama, your mom's for a... Chill. <laughs> so are we, uh, I'm down to head out. Yeah, let's go. I was I was literally, I was starting to think the same thing. Yeah, I'd like, cool. uh, let's go. This is great. This Any is last great. words? Um, <laughs> I would like to say, hello, this is. <laughs> hello. 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 Welcome to our ASMR. Welcome. Welcome to our ASMR. Thank you. Come back and see This is Conwin and Alyssa Diaz. That's not our real name. There's something. Something very, very sexual, You're promiscuous not. about this You're whispering. This, I'm whispering loud so you guys will hear me. Can I roll my tongue? <laughs> hey, can I roll my tongue uh, but whispering? Yeah, Have you ever tried to roll your tongue with whispering? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I got I to gotta show you guys this thing I can do with, like, rolling my arms. Oh, like, shit. Okay. So, <laughs> I, I, have I ever shown you guys this? No. <laughs> okay, I'm so like you, you do that. Okay, uh-huh. Right. <laughs> Then you get this. Oh goodness! You gotta have please ample stop. neck skin. Can you I don't please, have. I don't have that. Don't put that on the. Don't put that on the. I don't know. I want to hear this. <laughs> I don't know how the yeah, fuck I turkey, figured out a turkey I could ball? do. Uh, <laughs> I, I I think so. I, it, it resembles is a that turkey your more than anything else. I don't know. I was thinking more of a pterodactyl <laughs> myself. He's definitely in the oh, prehistoric age. Oh, I like age. this. <laughs> you like. <laughs> I, I'm, I liked it the first time. Like the second time, it made me kind of feel uncomfortable. Kind of looks like I'm like spreading butt cheeks. I actually <laughs> like. Cheeks, okay. So I actually like have been listening to the birds in my backyard, and like one word would be like, and then the other one would be like, and then like they'll they'll, they'll be like, talking. Do, they'll like do you it back and forth. Yeah. But then the guy will keep doing it, and like the girl is obviously blown away. How do you know it's a girl though? Because the guy does it first, and then the girl does it, and then the guy does it, and the girl does it. Well, because the guy's always trying to get the girl. Yeah. So they're always talking first. That is true, though. The other day I was like, was it the girl that started it? And, the girl? <laughs> and then the guy flew off. But anyways, <laughs> that was just like all the thing in my mind. But I was like, Wait. but one bird, the initiator, whatever, mm-hmm, yeah. the other one was like, did it back, and they kept doing it back and forth until the other one was just like, meep, meep. And like the other one was gone, and I was like, <laughs> "No, by law, right like, in front it was of so you, okay?" Sad. I was like, "They broke <laughs> up. They broke <laughs> up. <laughs> this love story <laughs> is over." You're seeing all the drama, yeah. all the drama in the backyard I'm birds. Like, I'm like back there in my backyard. I'm like, <laughs> which by the way, I don't know. If, I don't know if guys make the first move. Um, you in bird, in bird, girls kind of make the first move now, with like now, uh, presenting guys, themselves yeah. physically yeah. attractive, and then guys and make then the, the first guy approach. Like, hey, yeah. I like you, and then like the girls like, cool, what you got? And then the guys like, I got this, and the girls like, uh, not enough, and the guys like, how about this? <laughs> like, <laughs> and the girls like, uh, what else you got? And he's like, oh fuck, how about this? And she's like, all right, I gotta go, bye. <laughs> and that's dating one hundred and one. Yeah. yeah. Totally. And from like, the birds, from the birds. I saw it from the birds. Birds and the beads. Birds and the birds. Right, when you, no. If you think about it, birds are so, like like so prehistoric, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Birds, 
the birds were here before the dinosaurs. They're like alligators. They like, say the closest the thing, the closest relative or ancestor of a dinosaur is actually a chicken. You think of like yeah, a crocodile, no, right? You're right. Because you're right. they have. No, they have, have like, you ever watched them no, walk? The like the way they walk, like. It's because the crocodile and the alligator are still dinosaurs. We just decided to rename them. Just saying. Mm, they like evolved in some way. Why are they still alive? Beings. Why are they still alive? Because like they, cockroaches they evolved of the sea. because they're still alive. Cockroaches <laughs> of the sea. <laughs> cockroaches <laughs> of the sea. Is that what we just said? Yeah. What? Yeah, because cockroaches what? can withstand a nuclear bomb. Okay. Oh, I, be, I see you. I see where you're coming from. I want to be a cockroach. Mm-hmm. Okay? I see where you're coming from. Um, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? And this will be a closing out. Like, what animal have you ever felt like is your spirit animal? A raven. A raven? Yeah. Oh, that's very. That is my spirit animal, though, too. Ravens, because they, they sing songy. And Don't they sing? They do. You're as free they, as a bird. There you go. There you wow. go. Wow. Wow, where did that just come from? <laughs> came from Jordan. I guess um, I guess I guess Jordan's also a Jordan, raven. What is, uh, what if is you're a raven, spirit? I'm a raven. Well, what do you feel like if you were if, an animal? Yeah. What would you be? I feel like if I had to be any animal, <laughs> like my spirit animal, I think I'd probably be a flying squirrel that's like a fifty pounds, <laughs> like a like a, a fat, big, a like fat a, fat fat not a fat one, like just a big one, um, like one that, like a squirrel oh, that's like this big, like low low he's fat low fat percentage, low body fat, yes. low body fat, but he's just like really you, big, like vascular, <laughs> very vascular, vascular squirrel, just like <laughs> just like strutting, and I. Over oversized cock too, just like I'm oh, flying. Um, okay, just like wait, did you just say legs. oversized cock? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> okay, con. <laughs> We're just gonna move forward. I'm trying to get over. <laughs> I'm trying to get over the oversized <laughs> cock. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Um, I don't. I don't really want to hang out with you after this. No. <laughs> well, it was nice I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, I um, I think that I would probably be a penguin because they're kind of like. They're like in tune with the birds of their history, but also they're like they're like kind of like silly and like waddly. And waddle. Have you watched penguins? Yes. But also, okay, I've watched you? the March of the Penguins and I've watched the Penguins movie. But okay, can I tell you that like I'm like I'm like a hopeless romantic? And have you seen like how penguin? guys like present the girl with like the pebble and then the guy like stays and like takes care of the like they, yeah the egg and they like them, they yeah. like it's cute yeah I because like i'm that. producing this egg you but i like that it's like, but, a sea, okay. it's like a seahorse name okay? name another animal name another animal that like like is romantic like that a humans seahorse. Humans, no, they humans present. Are not romantic. Romantic. They're proposing. Romi- uh, we're humans animals. Are not romantic. Okay. We're talking about um, what your spirit animal horses, is. If you're gonna give me your eggs to carry, why we can't are you be a human? Life, baby. Okay. I'm saying that I would okay. be like a penguin if I wasn't a I like human. That. I like I'd that. Be a penguin. Yeah. Like, I'm calling it's you like a proposal, penguin, though. Okay. Kind of like them bringing that peng pebble. Peng. It's kind of like a proposal. Yeah. Like they found the yeah. perfect pebble, and they brought it to the girl, and then they're like, "Here." It's like a. It's a ring. Forget Same thing. Ring. It's cute, but they no, are actually no. they actually are committed. No, they actually That's can't. It. They actually can't be like. Ouch! That was you just attacked no, they're men, actually human men. But we're not getting yeah. into that today, yeah. okay? Um, <laughs> we'll listen, be listen. here. We'll Can be I tell here you until something about the penguins? wee hours in the morning, okay? Can I tell you about something about the penguin Tell guys? Because um, I watch a lot of documentaries. Um, <laughs> penguin, penguin, male penguins will stay and watch over the babies while the woman goes the. Female penguin goes out, so not woman. Goes out in like parties? No. no. <laughs> it gets to fish because between oh, that time, they have to go far point. in order to get the food. Isn't that and how lions are as well? Lions? Like the females do all the hunting and the men just kind of sit I around. I don't know, and show. but um, um, we're talking about my spirit animal and I'm not a lion. They're kind of, um, I don't. Will eat. you be a lioness? I, I'm, I eat a lot of fish, so. Um. I'm good. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't well, I'm I'm peacing out. All right, peacing out. Peace out, A Town down, my friend. A Town, peace up, A Town down. That's right. Is that what you meant? Famous word of ushers. Do 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 do. A Town down. Oh, when that yeah. when that beat hits, nothing gets me more <laughs> in the feels. Can I please edit that with you? Because I feel like some of the parts that I like, I just want to hear it. Just send it to me one more time. Honestly, it's way easier to just save all the way right. if you're cool with it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We good? Totally. Stop. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this was fun. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs>
<laughs> I didn't even get to.